You know, JPEG almost reminds me of like a handsome version of Raging Cherry. What was that? Is that one JPEG more time? reminds me almost like a handsome version of Raging Cherry. One more time? A little bit. I don't think the people heard you. <laughs> <laughs> um, Maybe it's the glasses. Harry's glass, or, uh, glasses. Cherry's glasses are too academic. So Kuya, uh, <laughs> Kuya, <laughs> it's okay. Kuya, uh, we're expecting to play Game Watch, but he played Link a whole bunch last week. How's yeah, it? is he playing? He's been playing Watch a lot right of uh, Link, but oh, he's playing Game, Game Watch okay. right now. He's uh, practicing his nines, trying to summon the god of Game and Watch Hammer Nine, something like that. All right, so Game Game and Watch Marth. Um, we're gonna see. I don't know. I don't really. It's hard because Game Watch just gets spaced out by a lot of the forward airs, forward smash. I mean, Game Watch has forward air to space out, but it's hard. Yep. Like, especially like Marth just gets like grab, and then combo, combo, juggle. Like Game Watch is gonna get juggled real hard. We're gonna see a lot of that. Yeah, but I think Game Watch can. Juggle a little bit himself, but he has to be like directly under Marth uh, to do that kind of right. Because if he's coming down at any kind of angle and Marth can forward air, it's going to beat out a lot of game watches. Right. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, whenever you play a lower tier character, you're he's going to have to <laughs> hitting on the way down. He's going to have to get or do a really good job of spacing out Marth, which is not easy. Because um, again, Ford Air is really good with Game Watch if you can space it, but again, Marth has a sword. So again, we're, I think we're going to see a lot of these spacing battles back and forth into mm. combos, into grabs. Um, so there we go, already yeah, starting the spacing. Oh, but these And the grab. The grab game is. Oh, the hammer. Are you kidding? I told you he was practicing his hammer summon. That's true, that's true. Miss. Oh, downer comes down. He just. I, I think. I think. Uh, Hits the forward air, knocks him off. I think JPEG it might might be a little baffled as what to do. That's true. You know, I didn't think about that. Like, I mean, JPEG obviously did really well, but does he have the game watch experience? I mean, because <laughs> you know, I don't think that's a thing. Yeah, exactly. I mean, obviously, players from Central Florida have played Kuya quite a bit, so we're kind of used to it. You just have to you have to get out of your own head. You just like play him. Like, you just do your thing. Like, I, I, game watch has such like not great uh, yeah, defense. He's not a very good character. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, <laughs> but yeah so, so again, he's gonna have to just do a really good job of spacing. Yeah. Um, Cause if he can't space out his moves, Marsh is gonna tear him apart. Mm -hmm. Oh, he just grabbed him oh. right out of that up B. I think that's an air. Oh no. But Kuya, spacing master. Kuya really speaking good of, at it. Speaking of spacing though. Yeah, oh yeah, that forward <laughs> smash. Dash dance. It's like two moving objects and he just tippered uh, a forward smash. Yeah, yeah, I can't believe he got that tipper too. That was really good. Ooh, waits for that. I think that's oh, it. the down air to death. That's the second. So the first stock, he kind of just like missed the ledge when he was coming back. Yeah. And Kuya's just very quick. Like I think it catches, it ca definitely catches you off guard. Like how quick he is with Game Watch. Right. Because like with a lot of low tiers, you kind of just expect them to be kind of slow and bulky, right. um, almost like a floaty character. Like if that's what's, your, what's in your head. Yeah. And then he like comes out with those four airs. Yeah. Oh. I mean. I don't know what he's. I don't. I'm not. I'm not exactly sure what that was supposed to be. Yeah, I don't really know. Ooh, Maybe he was trying to down tilt and and royally screwed up. Staying on the top platform, trying to again. They're like they're having these little spacing wars here, just trying to throw out forward air. Uh, actually, JPEG using a lot of forward tilt to keep him out. The forward tilt is real good. Yeah. Oh, gets the down tilt. That is. That's wow, that down tilt was actually amazing. Yeah, that was Mars really good. On the ledge. He missed it a few times, um, but he finally gets it for that last stock to finish it. JPEG laughing right now, like, how do I, how do I play? <laughs> yeah, what am I supposed to do? Oh, yeah, he's into Sheik. He's into Sheik. Yeah. Are we gonna see uh, the Sheik is like the no fun zone character? No fun zone. <laughs> like, remember the Titans? Zero fun sir. <laughs> you clearly don't get it. You made the face of, I'm going to laugh and smile, but I don't understand what you're talking about. You're like 100% right. That's what's so funny. <laughs> I, I know. That's what made it even funnier. You were, you were like so right. You don't know. Like, I have no idea what you're talking about, but it sounds funny. It sounds uh, pretty amusing. Anyway. Yeah, so, and you're not going to explain to me. I understand. I've done it all night. You literally said it, it earlier. I yeah, I can't. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, switches to Sheik. Um, but 
Uh, goes to battle. Go back now, to battlefield. But I feel like uh, Kuya now he has like you don't have to worry as much when comboing about getting like fared or nared out of it. So he just has to worry about uh, not getting. So Kuya his his combo game gets a little bit better, but he also gets punished a lot harder, I think. Right. Ooh. Also, it's kind of uh, it's it's a little demoralizing losing to Game and Watch. You like flat, you like go to Orlando, you're like, all right, cool, I'll beat these players, and then all of a sudden you're like, you lose game one to a Game and Watch. Right. Yeah. After he's been doing such a good job. Um, yeah. But again, like we were saying, I mean, you don't really have a lot of matchup experience against a character like Game and Watch typically. Yeah. Because you don't really know like the options to use or what beats what. You or... probably don't have any uh, anyone else in the in your region that like even plays Game & Watch, let right. alone has been playing Game & Watch for like a decade. Right. Yeah, and I mean, 3-3 three, three right now. Oh, I think Kuya's been point. playing since like, since he might be the oldest player here. Like, it might be like Colin, Kuya, Harriet. I think even before Gatsu. Yeah, I mean, Kuya definitely uh, been in the game for a while. Um, Link was actually his first main, mm -hmm. um, but choosing to use Game & Watch here. I think he's a, uh, I think he typically has been doing better or does better with Game and Watch anyway. So I like I like seeing the Game and Watch. Mm -hmm. Ooh, tries to he, throw out that air. I think he just gets away with a lot of stuff because people don't know what the like like that time where he he's like jumping off the top platform. He like just jumps and just like floats to the bottom and she doesn't didn't do anything. He's right. Because like, you're like scared. Like well, what is it gonna do? Right. Because I mean, surprisingly, even though like Game Watch is low tier, Nair comes out pretty quick. Downer comes out pretty quick. I mean, he has mm -hmm. quicker options. Like surprisingly. Down tilt comes out really fast. He has some fast moves. Yeah. It's one of those things, like, I think Game Watch has some, like, a really good moves. He just has some really, really bad things that bad moves. You know, like, so again, forward air really good. Uh, yep. Down air really good. Down tilt really good. But then you have, like, his super small shield. Mm -hmm. You have, uh, you can't L cancel. Um, a couple of moves like back air. Um, so, again, he definitely has some issues. And I think he's just, one of his biggest issues is, like, Fox... Fox and Falco like are gonna just like eat him. Yeah. Because like Fox just can kill him off the top because he's so floaty, and Falco is just so has so much priority on aerials. So if right. they like go to that kind of battle, like Falco's gonna win. Yeah. Yeah. Or I mean, even uh like how we counter pick Sheik. Sheik. Sheik has a lot of really good combos on Game Watch. Mm -hmm. You can just keep him out, hit him with the needles. You just like down throw to anything. Yeah. Like, exactly. Um. Yeah. And I mean, it's even right now too. Too. After losing last oh. game. Oh. But that's. I switched to Zelda. But see, that's that kind of Nair that you don't expect. Right. Yeah, Nair a really like, good I, kill move. I really like the uh, the switch. That switch really worked out there. Yeah, he, he ended up dying, but... Yeah, yeah, he almost had it, though. He's, he's able to switch back, he, even. He gave him, but, yeah, he gave himself, like, a, a, way, a really good chance. Right. Play to your outs. Yeah, sometimes that's scary to switch to Zelda, just because um, if you die and then you transform when you come back, you actually can be hit instantly. Um, and so he was able to switch back, though. But again, it didn't really matter. But, you know, Kuya's up right now, 2-1. Oh, gets him with the down tilt up air combo. Both hits. Oh, edge cancel? Oh. Near? Yeah, falls off, can't recover, does not sweet spot up B and gets hit. I'm, th I'm thinking maybe he should go for some down throws, but maybe he tried that already. Oh, uh, tries at the floor till gets uh, see, I, th I think that's like bread and oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's kind of like trying to space a lot of these hits just because if he can go for grabs, but like that. Like, oh, he doesn't hit it though. Yeah, because normally that would be a really good combo, especially at that percent, but Ooh. does not. Ooh. Forward smash. Oh, he's going to get the throws. He's going to combo? Yep. Just like that. Yep. Yeah, that down throw to the Nair. Oh, and two O's. 